Today we're going to answer the question of which type of printer you should use for printing your terrain, resin or FDM. Hi, I'm Andrew and welcome to Habes' Hobbies. I'm not going to be answering the question of whether you should 3D print terrain in general versus whether you should craft it, but instead look at which type of printer is best suited for printing terrain. And this might vary depending on your application and what you're trying to print. So here's a super simple explanation for both printers. FDM printing works where the printer heats up a filament and deposit it in layers on a build plate, slowly building it up layer by layer. Think of like a soft serve machine as it pours out into a cone. That's kind of what it does with this filament. And so it works from the bottom up to complete the print. On the other hand, a resin printer works by having the build plate lower into a vat of liquid resin, liquid resin, where a screen emits UV light in a particular image to print the layers one at a time. And then it repeats that process until it's complete. And so let's talk a bit about each printer and what its pros and cons are for printing terrain. Firstly, in general, FDM printers usually have bigger build plates. The two printers I'm gonna be looking at are the Prusa Mini and the Creality Harlot one. And its build plate is 180 by 180 by 180 millimeters. Uh, sorry for you imperialist scum, but we're gonna be using the metric. Versus my Creality Harlot one's 127 by 180 and then 160 high. That is one third of the print area of the FDM printer and one quarter of the actual printable volume. So there's already this huge reduction in just the printing size for the two different printers. Now I get you can get bigger resin printers and things like that, but that does require usually the more expensive and I just don't have access to that. My, my printer is very entry level and so it's gonna have a small build plate. And so that's already a big advantage because terrain pieces are usually big and so you want a bigger build plate so you can print bigger things. Filament, just material, like what you used to print, is also cheaper. Uh, for me, it's usually like 20 to $25 per kilo of filament, whereas opposed to resin, it's usually like 40 to $50 per kilo. This is all in Australian dollars, like AUD, but there's the cost factor into it when you're comparing printing as well. FDM prints are more durable. With terrain, like I'm not putting it carefully in a box to transport it to friends' places for games. There's the it's just not really not that much effort in how it's transported. And so I don't want it to just break and have delicate bits just coming off. Like I want it to be durable. I want it to last. FDM gives me that. Already got that additional, it's cheaper in terms of buying the material, but I find it's also just the support material on the prints is just less. Uh, when you look at the resin prints, they've got quite a lot of supports. And I feel like FDM printing uses less material for those supports. And finally, the last point when it comes to FDM printing, it is a bit slower. Like it's purely, the more you put on the build plate, the longer it takes. Also, I find the supports, in my experience at least, I've just been using auto-generated supports in Prusa Slicer, but the supports can sometimes be quite hard to remove. With resin supports, usually the tips like just come off and you chuck them in some hot water and they just peel right off. So I've talked about FDM printing, time to talk about resin. A big saver with resin printing is just how fast it prints. Resin printing prints layer by layer. So if you have one object on the build plate or if you have 10 of the same object, it takes the same amount of time to print because it's just going layer by layer by layer. And so if you have a big enough build plate to print multiple things, you can save the amount of time. Whereas an FDM printer, it almost each object you add, if they're the same print, like doubles the amount of print time. And so it can be quicker to print with resin. 3D printing, but like that's case by case basis. Another thing is resin prints in general usually have a bit more detail and I don't really care too much about detail because it's terrain and you can see like these FDM prints that I've done, like they're pretty good, but if you want some really crisp detail on like a centerpiece or something for your board game or map, maybe resin printing is the way to go. In that detail piece, the layer lines are usually smaller on resin 3D prints. Like you can get really fine nozzles in FDM, but they're a bit more expensive. Another thing when it comes to durability, resin usually is a bit less durable and a bit more brittle. I know you can mix different types of resins to combine different properties and things like that. I haven't done too much of that. The resin I've been using is Vox Labs ABS like resin, link in the description. If I'm going to be transporting it in a box, there could be little spikes and things that break off. I've already talked about the, the cost. Just don't print big pieces of terrain with resin. Like it's just not worth the cost. Unless you're like just rolling in money, it's not worth it. And finally, this is kind of like a side note. It's just the printing process, but the mess. Like resin printing is just messy and it's it can be unpleasant. And if you're trying to smash out heaps of pieces of terrain, you could just get over it. And I'm personally enjoying the FDM printer. Summary, FDM printing, cheaper, more durable, bigger build plate and more material efficient. Resin, more expensive, quicker in a lot of circumstances where there's lots of items on the build plate. If you've got a big enough build plate, you can get more detail, but unfortunately 
less durable. So where does that leave us? Um, another option is a hybrid solution between the two. And so you might use your FDM printer to print the big pieces like a house or something and then you use the resin printer to go in with the detail, print like some fancy doors and windows or things like that. And so you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting the durability, but you're also getting the detail and you're kind of minimizing your costs and expenses in that. You could also do a hybrid solution where you build the structure from, I don't know, cardboard, foam board or something like that and then use resin 3D printing or even FDM for the little bits of detail which are a bit harder to craft. For me personally, I think I'm just gonna stick to FDM printing for terrain. It's just easy, it's good enough for what I wanna do. Like I really it just needs to be on the table and look somewhat like structures if you want to see the mistakes i made when i started resin 3d printing you can click here and if you would like to see another hobby video you can click over here thanks for watching and happy hobbying see ya and happy hobbiting hobbiting